smokestack. So smoky, you'd swear your house was on fire. Save 20% on your entire order for the month of November using Fall 20 at checkout. Link below. You didn't think I was going to leave out the mother of all smoked meats, did you? Of course not. Brisket is my favorite cut from any barbecue joint that offers it. The issue is that in Alabama, there are not many places that offer good brisket, which is why I'm thinking about opening a barbecue restaurant. If you're interested in that at all, leave a comment below. Brisket tends to have a lot of hard fat on it, so we need to trim it up a bit if yours is looking like mine. We need to rub those chunks down with a rub of sorts. I'm going to go with three quarters cup of salt, some more of that spice it onion powder, about two tablespoons worth, granulated garlic in the amount of two tablespoons, and about one tablespoon of black pepper. Give this a mix and sprinkle liberally all over this beast. This thing weighs about 12 pounds after trimming, so you're not going to over season it. I promise. For the best results, let this sit for about 12 hours in the fridge to let some of that seasoning penetrate. After that time, it will have darkened a bit and stiffened up just a touch. Let's bring this out to our smoker, which is set to 225 degrees Fahrenheit, as usual. I'm going to be smoking this over a mix of hickory and applewood today. Let this smoke for about 6 hours or until an internal temperature of 165 Fahrenheit has been reached. Also added extra wood at the 3 hour mark to ensure it got enough smoke penetration. If you notice it drying out at all, you could spray it down with some beef broth, but since we let it sit in the seasoning overnight, we did not have that issue. It needs to finish cooking, and since we can't raise the temperature in the smoker, guess what we're going to do? That's right, bring it inside and wrap it in parchment paper and foil to let it finish in the oven. The key to wrapping this is to make sure all of your parchment paper slash foil is folded up to prevent any of these juices from leaking out. The juice this produced will allow it to braise. Once you've got your beef package fully sealed up, place it onto a pan and into your oven or smoker at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. This will take about another 6 to 7 hours, but we're just looking for an internal temperature of at least 205 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it's there, let it rest in its wrapper for another hour. And after that painful hour, we can finally slice into our brisket. There are going to be two parts of this brisket, the flat and the point. You can remove the point separately if you like, but I like to keep the point on top just for larger cuts of brisket. No matter what you do, make sure you're cutting against the grain. You'll know you're doing this if you pull out a piece like this and it looks like a little accordion. And oh my, this is decadent. Don't squeeze your brisket like I did. You want to retain those juices. I just needed some visual representation to show how sexy this thing is. And that's it. Slice it up and enjoy it just like this.